farmers in deck chairs while the robots do the hard work. That's the tongue-in-cheek message from the team behind XAG's Europe debut at the Serials Live agricultural show. The hope is that UK farmers will see the potential for electric-powered robots to take on tasks such as spraying pesticides with precision, meaning less chemicals used, while their light weight means less wear on the soil. There's pressure on the environment to reduce carbon, to reduce chemical usage, and nobody else has a solution for this. China is, and XAG in particular, are miles ahead of the competitors because they've been working with this technology since 2013 and we are introducing some of the great advances they've made uh, to the UK market. It'll take time, but we're patient. Since 2018, XAG has partnered with Harper Adams University in Shropshire, which specialises in bringing technology, including autonomous robots, to the agricultural sector. Researchers there believe ag tech developments could see the UK follow China in farming smaller areas more profitably. Their idea of utilising more of an Uber-style app where you request your field to be covered in a plant protection product is very much the idea of a contractor coming and doing that job. The farmer who owns that land doesn't come in at any contact with chemicals, doesn't have to have the spray licences and doesn't have to own the machine. Technology allows that new step change of not having to own all the agricultural equipment and allow you to farm a smaller area more precisely and make it work. The R150 is available now to British farmers and indeed some orders have been placed at this event. But when it comes to the drone, there are a few more complications. Currently under UK regulations, spraying crops is not feasible, although there are hopes that this could change. So the big question is, will farmers dig into their pockets? For some, the price tag of fifteen dollars to $20,000 means it may be attractive but out of reach just now. Right now, I think then, yeah, they're not quite affordable for the for a few most of your farmers. But I'm sure they'll get there. All that worries me is that you know, like any machine you're buying, is that it, it is you know it is reliable. It looks well built to me. The platform looks fantastic, uh, and if it's reliable, people will buy it. XAG are not the only robots in town. Dutch startup firm Axeed are continuing a European tour with Agbot, a robot tractor which can be programmed to autonomously work a field in a predetermined area. Right now, these robots are battling for attention and getting plenty of it. All here seem to agree this is the future face of British farming. The question is who will emerge as ag tech leaders and how quickly will this technology be embraced?